combined with the energy saving topic will compare to heating gadgets now. Okay, Emmanuel, we have seen energy saving lamps, yeah. but lamps are not the only gadgets that are used at home. Yeah. We are using heating gadgets to cook food, to boil water and the likes. So uh, in line with the energy saving topic, we'll compare two heating gadgets now. Look at this one. This is immersion heater. Its power rating is 500 watts when it's connected to 220 volt line. Yeah. This one is the ordinary stove. It is 1000 watt when it's connected to 220 volts line. Yeah. Now, in order to determine the energy efficiency of these two to compare, we will boil the same amount of water and measure the time required to boil that same volume of water by the two. Okay. That will help us to compare the energy efficiency of the two devices. You know, the concept is we are asking these two gadgets to do the same work and measure the time required by each. Yeah. Then determine which one is more energy efficient. So I will start by measuring the volume of the water to be boiled. Look, this smaller container holds 330 ml of water. This, this is MPT. Yeah. So look at this. I will put it here. Now we will measure the time required by this oven to boil this water from room temperature. Yeah. When I put this one on the stove, you will start the timer. Now start. Fine. Now the temperature of the water was room temperature yeah. when it was in this. Now it is raised by a certain amount when heat is supplied from the bottom. Yeah. As time passes, the temperature of the water increases, increases. and increases and increases. Yeah. When it reaches to the boiling point, what will happen? The water will start evaporating. Yeah. It's not evaporation, it's boiling. Evaporation takes place at any temperature. Yeah. But boiling takes place at a particular temperature. Yeah. Now, the water is absorbing heat energy from the oven. Yeah. Now, one minute is already elapsed. One minute. OK. We'll see how much time is required to boil this water. By the way, do you know the boiling point of water in Addis Ababa? Um, no. Okay, what is the boiling point of water? It is 100 degrees Celsius. Yes. Is it happening at all places? 100 no, degrees? it happens only at the sea level. Yes. Addis Ababa is, is it above sea level or below sea level? It is above. Yeah, it's more than 2,000 meters above sea level. Yeah. So we expect water to boil below or above 100 degrees? Below 100. Below 100, yeah. It boils below 100 degrees centigrade. Anyway, the boiling point is the same at a given place, whether you are using one type of stove or another type. Yeah. So our purpose is to compare the energy efficiency. So let's proceed. Now two minutes are already passed. Mm. 
Do you know pressure cooker? Yeah. What kind of cooker is that? Um, it uses immense heat and pressure to cook meat and other stuff. What happens in pressure cooker? It is sealed. Yeah. It's airtight, right? Yeah. So when heat is supplied from the bottom, what will happen to the pressure inside? It will increase. It will increase. Therefore, look, if pressure increases, what will happen to boil, boiling point? Uh, the boiling point increases. Yes. At sea level, there is very high pressure. Yeah. The boiling point is 100. Yeah. If you increase the pressure of a boiling water more than the atmospheric pressure, what will happen? The boiling point of water increases. It will be more than 100. Yeah. So people are using pressure cooker to raise the pressure inside more than the atmospheric pressure so that the water boils at 110, at 120, at 130 degrees centigrade. In that case, the boiling will happen faster because it takes place under strong pressure. Yeah. Therefore, pressure cooker is one form of energy saving mechanism. You can do it in a shorter time wi with high pressure. For example, if you want to cook meat in open kettles, it may take longer time. But in a prayer cooker, you will need shorter time so that you save energy. Yeah. So what can you say? Prayer cooker is one mechanism to energy saving to save energy. Uh, be it um, um, a coal or a charcoal, be it electricity, you use it to boil water. Yeah. If you are boiling it in a shorter time, you are saving the amount of energy required to boil. So, now our water is about to boil. Bubbles are coming out, you can see. Yeah. Water bubbles are coming so when it runs we will say it requires this amount of time to boil the water, boil the water. already five minutes and 50 seconds are elapsed okay our water is about to boil therefore let's put a thermometer inside and we'll see the temperature. Look, it's about 70. Now it's about 80 degrees. You can see? Can you see the temperature? Yeah. Now 85, 89, 90, 91. Now it's boiling, stop it. Yeah, 92. Look, Amanuel, the temperature is 92 degrees. Yeah. It can't go beyond 92. If you keep on boiling it, it can't go beyond 92. Therefore, at this place, water boils at 92 degrees centigrade. The time it requires is 9 minutes, 25.38 seconds. Now, if we keep on, this is very interesting. Yeah. If you keep on heating, the temp there will be no temperature rise. Yeah. Therefore, water boils at 92 here. Okay, very good. Now, that's all about our oven. We are 
keeping on supplying energy. Yeah. But it's not increasing the temperature of the water. Yeah. Where does that supply of energy go? Um, that energy keeps on hitting the kettle. Yes. And some of the energy is going to be changed. It, it, it's going to change it. It's going to change the water from liquid state to vapor state. Yes. That is the reason why steam contains more heat energy than a boiling water. Okay. That's good. Now, next, the next thing is to do the same work by using immersion heater. This one. Okay. Now it is the turn of the 500 watt immersion heater, right? Yeah. 500 watt immersion heater. So we'll do the same thing. We'll take the same amount of water. The amount of water is determined by its volume. Earlier we used this one, right? Yeah. So 330 ml water is used. I will pour it into the kettle. So, as you have seen, the kettle is cooled to room temperature. Yeah. From uh, when the boiling point uh, water is removed, right? Yeah. Now, I will immerse this one into water <coughs> because this kind of heaters should always be in put on while in water and put off while in water. That is the safety procedure, right? Yeah. Now, when I plug this, you will put the timer on. Okay. Plug it. Correct. Now, we'll observe the temperature. temperature, right? The thermometer is already cooled. Now it is reading around 24 degrees. That is the room temperature. So I will put the thermometer inside. We'll stop the timer when the temperature reaches 92. 92 degrees. Because water boils at 92 degrees in Addis Ababa. Yeah. Now, one minute, the temperature is about 29. Which one will? take longer time, can you guess? This one or the previous one? From what we have seen, I think it, this one. This one will take longer time? No, that one will take longer time. <laughs> okay, let's, let's check. Why do you say that one will take longer time? This one started boiling at around one minute and 40 seconds. No, 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 it has not yet boiled. Okay, there are some stem I as I can No, see. no, no, that's no. not boiling, that's evaporation. Okay. So evaporation ha happening okay. at the surface. Look, the temperature is now below 40. Bo bo boiling takes place only... At a certain temperature. Yeah. This is, you know, the immersion heater has surface contact at the surface. Yeah. There you can see this, but boiling in the body of the water has not yet happened and the temperature is only 45 yet we will say the water boils only when it reaches it reaches 92 degrees now it's 50 will you change your uh, judgment or which one will take longer that one or this one that one the that one, one will take longer okay let's see now the temperature is 50, time is 247. Now the temperature is 60, time is 3 minutes and 15 seconds. Now the temperature is no, around 70. 76, 77. Yeah. We, are, we are keeping on supplying heat. Yeah. The temperature is being raised. What was that time? Nine minutes? Yeah, nine minutes and 25 seconds. Okay. Now, the temperature is 90 already. The temperature is 91. Now, water is boiling like anything. <laughs> it's 92. Stop it. Stop. Stop the timer. Five minutes and five seconds. 
Now it's boiling. Yeah. It's, it's boiling. It will not be raised beyond 92. It's wonderful. Now you can compare the two now. You can make your chart and uh, analyze the, the results. Okay. Okay, work output, Milaulai, boiling 300 ml water from boiling 330 ml of water. Water. water from room temperature to BP below. It's not a common Ah, common Three hundred ml water, water from room temperature TEM people in the bargo to boiling point BP boiling point. Well, but now, Emmanuel, you have a complete data. Yeah. The output work is the same. Yeah. What is the output work? Boiling 330 ml of water from room temperature to boiling point. Very good. To do this amount of work, what amount of electrical energy is required by the oven? By the oven, it is electrical energy 565.38 kilojoules. Kilojoules of electrical energy is consumed. Yeah. That is the input. Yeah. What about the immersion heater? Uh, for the immerser, it is 152.68 kilojoules. Okay. Which one is energy efficient? The first one. The immersion heater is energy efficient. Yeah. Why do you think the immersion heater requires less electrical energy to do the same amount of work? Um, because it uses less amount of input energy to do to to boil something in a s in a small time yes it did the same work as the oven yeah but in a shorter time yeah and consuming less electrical energy yeah. why is that so what makes this one more energy efficient um, because we immerse the immerser in the water fully and the whole heat is divided into the water and for the oven the heat goes to the surrounding yes this one consumes electrical energy and generates heat yeah. but the heat is escaping to the surrounding yeah. as you rightly said but in this case every heat generated by the immersion heater will go into therefore this one is more efficient energy efficient energy saving for boiling purpose so you you might have uh, a knowledge of this uh, in ethiopia a special kind of uh, charcoal uh, oven you know the heat loss to the environment is minimized by a closed oven yeah therefore we have to be energy conscious whenever you, we are doing some work we can do the same work with less energy when we use energy efficient devices yeah. today we have a very good time and we have investigated energy saving lamps and energy um, saving light uh, heating devices Next time, we'll meet on another topic. Have a nice weekend, Amanuel. Okay, thank you. Have thank a nice you very weekend. much. Thank you. Bye. Bye.